Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures today. We're out fishing on the river and we're casting a jig. A lot of guys wonder how do you cast a jig. Well, you gotta find the right water, deeper, slower water. And the key is to find the fish. If there's fish holding in that water, a lot of time a jig will trigger them to bite. And uh, how you jig it is, you just cast it out Try to let it settle down so it's closer to the bottom, like a couple feet off bottom. And then just jig it in back to you, popping it like this. And I do varying degrees of amplitude. The key is the fish bite on the fall. So when you pull it up, you'll feel the bite, set the hook hard and reel them in. So it's quite surprising because they almost never hit on the upstroke. It's almost always on the fall. And that's why a lot of guys I think don't have success because they're missing all the bites. You have to follow the line down as it drops. So when you cast, when you jig, crank on the down stroke so that your line is staying semi-taut. And if you feel any movement at all on the down stroke, set that hook. So just cast it, you let it sink down close to the bottom, then hop it back. jig on the fall. I just cast it out. I saw it was a hatchery so I pulled it up on shore and a beautiful cromer. The other two I got a little more colored up but there's a bunch of coal in there right now. Three in a row already. If I put the camera on I'll show you the other two later. Look how they hit that. I just cast it in there. It was just falling and bang fish on. Number three. One more to a limit. Let's see. I'll go cast and see what happens. Chomp those jigs. Guys say they don't bite jigs. Hatchery fish, clip in the tail. It's a big buck. A little bit pink, but this time of year, it's later in November. It's November 9th. I don't know how much fresh ones are coming in. We saw one chrome one. All the other ones are colored up, so we'll keep this one, keep fishing. At least we got our limit. I'll uh, put a bunch in the smoker and catch them up. It'll be good. There you go, November jig fishing. So much fun on the jig. Well, thanks to Jig Geek, this is gonna be a really cool show. Stick around, because I hooked a bunch of coho in this pond behind me on the jig. And uh, this is a 3 8 ounce jig that I've tied with some blue, black, baraboo, a little bit of chartreuse, rabbit fur, bunny fur, and some crystal flash. This thing is deadly. I'll link another video where I tie this and show you how it's made. Stick around, let's catch some fish. Well, I had a few light bites, so I'm gonna change the color. Bright pink, pink curly tail, lots of flash on it. With that Jig Geek Jig, three eight ounce, let's give it a try.
wild buck. He was hooked in the mouth there. Let him go. He's got his fin. There's a wild buck. Hit the jig. Let this one go. I was on the pink jig. I switched it up and I lost a couple already. Because I wasn't getting as many hits on the blue one. So I switched to the pink one with the pink curly tail. But I feel like I'm getting missed strikes because this long tail. I feel little jerks. I think they're hitting that tail. But they seem to like it. This jig geek jigs, 3 8 ounce. These things are amazing. I'm down there pounding off the rocks and stuff. Look how good this jig head is. It's not chipping like all the rest of mine are. Yeah, I don't know what he does with this paint, but it's amazing. Keeps your jigs looking nice. Okay, let's go catch another one. When one color doesn't work, switch it up and try something different. Oh, I just had a hit in the downstroke. I fell that pole. As soon as it went down, my rod tip went down. A lot of times they'll hit just on the fall. You gotta be aware when you pick up that slack, that first jig, fish might be there. Stuff like that, those little splashes, those are the cones. Cast toward that splash. There's fish there. Sometimes it works. Oh, wow, I just lost one. Oh, I got him, I got him again. Here we go. My snake is going to a little crazy. No, I got him. Oh. paint on that jig head is. It doesn't come off. It's just amazing. Well, thanks for watching and uh, go check out the Jig Geek uh, on Instagram. I'll put a link below. I'll see if he makes YouTube videos. I'm not sure. And uh, go check out his products. The jigs are great. Thanks a lot for sharing with me and I'll uh, do a tie with them uh, on video one of these days. See you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, follow along, share it with others. It's uh, been fun on this channel. Sorry I haven't been putting out much videos. Busy with the family, but I'll put out more this winter. Thanks for watching.